Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is Sir Legit, and I welcome to another Black Ops 2 commentary. Uh, I know, I again, I know I haven't been doing very many commentaries, and I keep signing in in every video. I'm so sorry. But uh, as of today, I've actually been trying to get a live commentary of uh, a zombies gameplay. And goddamn is it not, it's, it's tough, because I'm choosing maps that... I don't usually run when I do play zombies. It's been a while since I've actually played zombies, but um, I actually, uh, <clears throat> when I used to play, I used to play a group of four uh, transit runs in the town, but uh, as of lately, I've been wanting to play um, Bus Depot and uh, f the farm, um, solo, survival, and shit, is it not easy? I'm not even kidding, because... Those are the two maps that have no perks. Actually, wait, no. Yeah, though the farm has perks, but uh, Bus Depot has no perks whatsoever. And Bus Depot is fun, but it's tough. I'm used to being uh, able to take more than two hits with Juggernaut. But, oh man, it's, it's been tough. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, I've been trying to do that. I actually tried that today. Complete failure. I think the highest I got was to round eight. Um, that was during a live commentary, and I ended up just trashing it because I really don't want to upload round eight. That's only ten minutes. I, I'd like to get to at least round twenty, where the game, uh, where I could get at least three parts out of the videos. You know, like, like have a series of at least three episodes or three parts to the series of um, Nazi zo or zombie survival. But I decided to go ahead and scratch that. Do not do a zombie survival gameplay live commentary of the current zombie maps because they're frankly i was doing some searching on youtube and there's a lot of videos of zombies gameplay of the old maps and i decided to go ahead and i guess when i do get the revolution map pack uh or the revolution dlc for black ops 2 and do a die rise game or live commentary or at least try to do a die rise um survival gameplay i guess you can call it but um uh, i should be hopefully i can be getting that this week i'm not too sure when i'm gonna be able to grab it um a uh, little tight for cash right now but hopefully i can squeeze 15 dollars down to you know go ahead and buy the revolution dlc and uh if anybody actually any of my subscribers any of the viewers that watch my videos when there's a video out uh, if you had the revolution dlc in there's a, a thing you don't like about the Revolution DLC. Post in the comments below or send me a PM or whatever, you know, try and get a hold of me somehow. Let me know what you don't like about the map pack. Um, I know, you know, the, the weapon's not a big deal. The Peacekeeper, it's a new weapon. It's the first time Black Ops or any game developer for Black Ops or Call of Duty, sorry, excuse me, for Call of Duty has ever released a weapon in DLC. You know, it's what we've always wanted in DLC for Call of Duty games over the years especially me i've been wanting it and treyarch has finally been able to produce a weapon in dlc it's it's kind of a shock to see that they actually have it i know it's kind of old news to be talking about the revolution dlc it's been out for a while well not really a while about a week a little over a week so not a big deal um so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do is uh try and do a zombies gameplay i guess live commentary over it when i do grab it but uh another thing is i want to Tell me what you don't like and what you do like, and if it's worth buying. I know I've watched quite a few videos about uh, the Revolution DLC, and a lot of people say it's worthwhile. It's actually one of the first Call of Duty DLCs that's like kind of recommended to get. But um, I'm not going to go off of YouTubers' opinions about it because I'm... They're, they're usually used to getting all the DLCs, so I'm, I kind of want to get the opinion from people that are really picky about their DLCs for Call of Duty, because I'm one of those people that are like, do I really need this pack? And I'm, I'm the type of one that gets packs in between. Like, I'll, I won't get the first pack, but I'll get the second pack, and I'll get the fourth pack. I won't get the first and the third pack, because I'm really, I guess, picky with my maps and spending my money on virtual stuff. I guess you can call it, but um, I know I'm not the only one that's picky about spending cash on virtual items, but um, whatever, it really doesn't matter. So go ahead and tell me, if you guys had the Revolution DLC, go ahead and tell me in the comments below um, whether you like the Revolution DLC or you think it was a waste of time and just wait for the next map pack. Um, 
but I think whether or not anybody really tells me just negative stuff about it or whether or not people tell me about it, period, I think I'm going to still get it just because I want to be able to have a breath of, breath of fresh air in Black Ops 2. I've been really enjoying Black Ops 2. I've gotten back into it, and um, my new favorite weapon is the MTAR. Hopefully I can use it a little bit more. I've been using the A94 constantly, and I'm kind of just like, I guess, stagnant waters where it's just, you know, you don't really change up your weapon style i used to use smgs but uh i don't really want to use them anymore i know what it's you know people use what works or i guess i don't know it really doesn't matter i'm not going to rage about smgs i've done it in the past and i'm frankly i'm over it i'm a little sick and tired of it but i'm not going to even talk about that anymore but um so i think i'm going to do the some diarize gameplay when i do get the revolution dlc and um, maybe do a gameplay video of the Peacekeeper. I know I won't be the first or the last person that does like a gameplay for the new DLC. But, um, and I guess in a three in three months, we'll see what the next DLC looks like. And uh, for Black Ops 2, hopefully they can make some more zombies map packs and uh, some better better um, multiplayer maps for Black Ops 2. Because of what I've heard. Uh, the multiplayer maps for Black Ops 2 Revolution DLC is all, they're a lot better than the uh, default maps that come on disc, like the shipping or the maps that come shipped with the game. I guess you can say, but that's what I've heard so far, and that's what I've read so far over the stuff, over the YouTube videos and the articles and the threads I've read for the Revolution DLC. Um, I okay one one thing I'm actually gonna mention here in this actual gameplay um, we lose now nah, we, we lose it's unfortunate but we lose by one it solves like you know what I don't usually post games where I lose I, I know I have a few or a couple that I've posted where we lost but it's usually we lose by like I don't know five to ten maximum Usually it's a pretty close game, uh, I, or even if it's a draw, draws don't come that often, but uh, they do actually happen, and when they do happen, they're rare. So, sorry if you guys don't like to see people lose in videos on YouTube, I guess. you Yeah, so, I lost, so if you want to stop watching this video, go ahead and stop watching now. I'm not going to hate you for it. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. That thumbs up button has definitely been growing over the past couple months since I've grown a subscriber base. Um, and it's actually, it fluctuates from like two to seven or eight uh, thumbs up. And that's great. I like to see it. It's definitely motivating to keep doing videos. I know I got stagnant a little there for a month or two after... Uh, Christmas and whatnot that I just didn't do very many videos. I didn't even play very many video games. Uh, video games to me, it was just like, ugh, same thing. But I'm definitely getting back into it, and I'm hoping for this revolution to definitely bring a fresh breath of air for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and for me, and to use some new things, man. Like, I don't know, new weapons and the... Uh, diarize and the peacekeeper I don't think the peacekeeper is gonna be my type of weapon just because I don't use SMGs I like to I like the assault rifles in black ops too a lot of people say assault rifles are garbage well you know what they're my weapons and I should should be keeping or should be using them a little bit more often I'm really stupid I can't speak very well today I don't, I'm so sorry but yeah so <laughs> I decided to make a commentary about the Revolution DLC and um, what I might be doing in the near future. I'm not sure. I hope. I hope. I'm. I really. It's something I really want to do. Um, I want to do like real life videos. You know, I want to be able to buy myself a GoPro and because uh, I might be getting myself a quad and off-roading vehicles sometime soon. Maybe. I'm not sure. But if I do, then I would definitely love to be able to go, put a GoPro on, like, my helmet or something and just record what I'm doing and going on trail rides and whatever. But hopefully, I'd really love to do that. That'd be amazing. On top of doing video game videos on YouTube, that'd be enjoyable to do as well. And I hope 
maybe some of you viewers that I have right now go ahead and watch those videos when they do start coming. I'm not saying it's going to come very soon, but it could happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. My name is Sir Legit. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button. It does motivate me to keep doing more videos. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next uh, next commentary. See you guys later.